The draft resolution received 15 votes in favor. A unanimous show of support for a hugely significant resolution. The United Nations Security Council has authorized the deployment of troops to the Democratic Republic of Congo with an historic mandate. Soldiers from a newly formed intervention brigade will be able to open fire without being fired upon first. It means for the first time that there will be a peace enforcement capacity uh, which will carry out targeted offensive operations either in support of the Congolese army or unilaterally in order to neutralize the armed groups. Their main target will be M23 rebels who have gradually taken control of parts of eastern Congo and are accused of mass rape, executions and recruiting child soldiers. But the rules of engagement are still unclear and at least one country which will have troops in the brigade is worried that the UN could become a party to the conflict. We still have serious difficulties with getting the UN involved in peace enforcement activities since these may compromise our neutrality and impartiality which we believe is so essential to the organization's peacekeeping. There are also concerns over the command structure. The man who will be in charge of the intervention brigade is also running the UN's peacekeeping force. Diplomats tell Al Jazeera the resolution was rushed because Rwanda becomes president of the Security Council on the 1st of April. The DRC neighbour has been accused of funding M23, a charge Rwanda denies. The UN resolution gives the brigade a year on the ground in the DRC, but... An exit strategy won't be possible without genuine engagement from the Congolese authorities to take over for such an intervention brigade. So unless we see that, we fear having a group of troops that are engaged in long-term military confrontations with armed groups in the east, increasing human rights violations, increasing humanitarian fallout, increasing violence without much end in sight. Despite the scepticism and perhaps just a touch of nervousness about the DRC intervention brigade, all the talk now shifts to when the troops will be deployed. The Security Council vote proves its members are willing to take a risk on the unknown because, quite simply, nothing else has worked. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera at the United Nations, New York.